Hi you guys, welcome back to Wallington Filming. Right, as you're probably aware, went to the P and D show in Coventry um, a short while ago. You've probably seen the video. And uh, I come across a, a stand selling brushes. And what stood out from this stand uh, and this company compared to a lot of the other ones is um, how they made their brushes. Um, here it is. Yeah, there it is. There yeah, it caught me eye, very interested. I had a good chat with a guy and uh, did a little bit of a interview and got him to tell me about his product. And as you know, I will hold nothing back. I will tell you the straight God's honest truth of what I think of this brush. Made by. So, like, we're here at the P and D Centre, 2019 in Coventry with Joel, and he's got these amazing brushes with bamboo handles. I do believe. Is that right? Yeah, that's absolutely right. Yeah. Here's a piece of bamboo just to prove it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's what they're made out of. This is what they're made out of. And bamboo is a grass and not a wood, so these grow at two foot a day, yeah. which makes them really <laughs> sustainable and um, very friendly to the environment. And which so is a good thing. Which is a very good thing. So basically our entire company, EcoEasy, is sustainable. We use no plastic anywhere in any of our packaging. Um, all fully cardboard, all fully recyclable. Yeah, and sorry, so sorry, sorry. These are the brushes. This is the three inch brush. Yeah. And what you've got is a bamboo handle made from the wood I just showed you a minute ago. Yeah, yeah. This ferrule, which is a uh, recycled metal, does it rust? No. It's Are stainless, you sure? stainless steel. Yeah, but it, so you've got no rusting, no rusting on these pins or anything, yeah. though. And we offer a lifetime guarantee no, 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 on our no, brushes. No, no, no. So, so, a lifetime guarantee. What's a lifetime guarantee on the whole a thing? A lifetime guarantee on the brush for the life of the brush. Not the so, life what do you need to qualify then for it to go wrong? Well, basically, if there's any manufacturing fault, so, so rusting will be one of those things. So, if you have rusting on an eco easy brush, We'll exchange it for you, no questions asked. Sweet, yeah. Okay, so then what we've got here is 80% um, recycled synthetic bristles okay. and 20% hog hair. Oh, you've got hog hair? Hog hair, yeah. This is SRT tipped and flagged. Yeah. So they are a very, very good brush, highly recommended, highly rated. Well, to be honest, it, it, it does look a good brush to me. Uh, we, we're actually house, house painters on new build sites. Yeah. And, uh, most most guys do use just two inches, but we, we hit it with a three inch. Right. So that that's yep. our yep. that's our brush of uh, brush of choice. Brush, brush of choice. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, we also have these paint kettles. Yeah. Which are obviously um, recycled some. Yep. So these are recycled pulp. Yeah. Um, so this used to be a milk carton or something. Yeah. It's now a paint kettle. So this. This um, can be used over and over again. Yeah. So basically you can, instead of pouring the paint out at the end of the day, it just dries in here. Yeah. Next day, paint goes on top, dries. Paint goes on top, dries. So there's no paint down the sink at all. Yeah, quite a lot to be fair. No paint goes down the sink. And then at the end of the day, as long as you've been using water-based paint, then you can recycle it again. So uh, it just goes into the recycling. I take it they, they dry quite quickly with yes. it being quite absorbent. Don't yep. Yep. And that's all recycled material, yeah? Completely yes. recycled pulp. The same here with the trays. I take it that's why you call yourself Eco. Eco-easy. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Uh, and uh, yes, we do also the dust sheets, which are yeah. What dust sheets are they? Dust sheets, you've got dust sheets down here. And yeah, so but they're plastic, aren't they? These are also biodegradable. So oh, these will biodegrade in six years, as opposed to 25,000 years that standard plastic sheet takes. Oh, really? So for all, for all them eco-friendly people out there, you're the man to see really, aren't you? are the people to see, absolutely. Yeah. Have, have you got like a website? Yeah, or? you can find us at ecoeasy.com. Oh yeah. Where you can have a list of stockists and we can... Also is that your wife? This just, is my wife. Is it? Well, we should have, we should have interviewed her. Oh, really. She's yeah. better looking than you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And to, to be fair, to be fair, Sam, come on, Flash, yeah. what do you think of them prices? Yeah, reasonable, to be fair. Yeah. Where have you ever seen a four inch brush for yeah, 10 quid? Tipped and flagged. Yeah, you don't, hair. do you? Come on, where have you seen a brush for 10 quid? Well, you don't. Where have you seen, how much is three inches? Five. <laughs> three yeah, inch. Be there. Five. Five. Yeah. 
he, he's good on his prices, Sam, to be fair, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. Four inch brush. Yeah. These are stocked in, uh, stocked in Travis Perkins, so you can pick them up there. Oh, you do them in Travis Perkins yeah. still? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. What, what through the country? Yep, all 600 stores. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, thanks for your time, mate. And we will get you all over social media. How do you find? How do you fancy that? Yeah. So there's the website, guys. If you want to buy brushes, there we are. And to be honest, I don't think we're going to beat them prices. And to be fair, decent looking brush. And. Uh, you, Eco-friendly as well, which is the main thing which a lot of people want, isn't it, nowadays? Yeah, totally. Well, thanks a lot, Joe, and uh, much appreciated. Right. Cheers, mate. Right then, what do you think about that? Now, one thing that does really appeal to me, because I like to breathe, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, is basically how the handle and every, how all the wooden handle is made from bamboo, which can't be a bad thing, can it? Because if you keep cutting down trees to make brush handles, it's not gonna be a good thing, is it? Because we need them bloody trees to breathe. So I think there's a lot of um, brush manufacturers out there should follow the footstep on their uh, handles. Uh, and basically make them out of bamboo. That, that's, that's a really good thing as far as I'm concerned. I can't, can't fault them guys for that. Uh, it just makes perfect sense, doesn't it, to be fair. Um, right. Nothing wrong with the bristles. Good length. Let's hope they keep them that length because if they start to shorten the length of the bristle, their sales are going to drop, isn't they? Because, you know what, as painters are like, we're not stupid and we talk more than women. So as so, soon as they drop the length of that bristle to try and save money, they're going to start losing money themselves, isn't they? Because it'll just get round like wildfire. Now then, I'm going to show you the ferrule. A lot of the things on, on the brush are recyclable as well. Um, but... So, uh, yeah, so ferrule's made out of recycled stainless steel, I think I said, didn't it? But let's, ha let's have a closer look at this, shall we? Let's have a closer look. Right then, so here it is. Apparently, yeah. like I said, you can get them all from Travis Perkins, not check yet. Bamboo handle, that's, that's a blinding idea. Absolutely cracking idea. I think the rest of them should follow suit with that. But the ferrule's made out of recycled stainless steel. So... Yeah, not a bad thing, is it, really? Now, one thing that does bother me with this brush is you've got to compete with your competitors. And there's too many big manufacturers of brushes out there these days that are doing a seamless ferrule for obvious reasons. Main thing being, when that starts getting caked in paint, that starts to open up. It, it's a tried and tested method. Um, with a lot of the uh, brush manufacturers and that starts to go wrong. You just get it to a nice shape and everything like that and that starts to open up. No good. That is not good. Um, also, one of the big, bigger things for me is the width of that brush. It's not thick enough for proper house painters in this day and age. There's a lot of guys that will find that more appealing than uh, some of us, but as, a, as somebody who goes out to work to earn money, that doesn't hold enough paint. It's not thick enough compared to what else is out there on the market. So, yeah, I mean, I, I'm not, not slagging off because I think it's a, a really, I, I think it is the way forward. Bamboo handle, can't fault it. Downside for me, compared to other competitors out there, like pro deck people like that. Um, it, it's just not wide enough. I have seen a couple of guys this morning, day after the P&D show, showing them the brush, and their first reaction was, hmm, bit thin, bit thin. 
Um, they're, they're reasonably priced. I think I probably, I think I would probably rather pay an extra quid the, uh, on the brush price and have it a thicker brush. Needs to be at least half the width again, so it holds more paint and it feels stocky. Do you know what I mean? Um, the handle, I'd probably round that off a bit more. You know, like like the other. Um, competitors of, of this this company round that handle off so you get a bit more better of a feel on, on the brush handle do you know what i mean but um uh, uh, and the joint it, it needs to be a seamless ferrule end of story but good way forward i think it is the way forward brush manufacturers have got to start thinking about let's stop cutting you down the trees and use bamboo do you know what i mean because if they can make an handle like that out of bamboo it just looks like wood to me, but it's not, is it? It's grass. So yeah, brilliant way forward. Some um, design faults, as far as I'm concerned, um, for me, uh, I'm not even going to give it um, a try out because it, it just doesn't suit my needs. To be fair, because um, it, it's just too, it's too, too thin. Two thing, when I have enough paint, I'll be constantly dipping that in, in the kettle. But overall, it's a way, it is a way forward. And this type of brush, a lot of people use Purdy, and, and their brushes are a bit like this, and they're thin. Um, but it is a way forward, let's face it. Recycle everything, and no more cutting down the trees. So, I hope you've enjoyed the content of this video. If you have, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Also, press that notification bell so you get notified immediately uh, as soon as I whack up another video. And don't forget, guys, stay safe. From yours truly, The Candleman. Catch you. Me with the flash and the Lady legend, Magnolia. the legendary, globally known Lady Magnolia. What got say, go? Washington's number one female decoration. Yeah, she is. Yeah, yeah. 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 All famous. Yeah.